Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all who deserve peace and no peace for the criminals, the Bible say. The criminals of Muhammad, they attack one of our churches in Nice, which actually I visited last year. Those filthy dogs, filthy animals, pigs are better than you. Filthy terrorists attacking an old woman and beheading her. I mean, what I can describe you more than, I don't know what to say. How disgusting Islam is. For years and years and years, the stupid atheists all over Europe, they label anyone who expose Islam as a phobic. He have a phobia. You stupid atheist, look what you have been done. You sponsor this devil, and now the devil is hunting you and the Christians. You defended the devil for years. Even in England, they made a ban list for anyone to speak against Islam. You cannot come to England. This is how much they sponsor the faith of Muhammad. And now they are wondering what's wrong. They are wondering what's wrong. As if they have no idea what's wrong. How many newspapers in France, they mention the word Islamophobia a year? Is it really a phobia or it is a real dangerous cult? How many people beheaded, tortured, killed, raped, enslaved in the name of the cult of Muhammad in the last few years? And for how long you coward, you keep saying, this is not Islam. So this is what? The Sheikh of Al-Azhar University in, 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 in Egypt, who is the highest authority, for the garbage of Muhammad. He said, stop insulting Islam. We are against killing innocent people, but we are against you insulting our prophet too. So he's saying, if you don't do this, we don't do that. But remember, Islam was slaughtering people before you insult Islam. It doesn't matter if you insult Islam or not. Islam was slaughtering people before the cartoon and after the cartoon. The president of Shishenia, he made a threat to Macron saying, oh, you are making one billion Muslim, he was going to say maybe one billion terrorist, angry. Once I had a radio show, this is many years ago, and the stupid idiot atheist who was speaking to me in the show, he said, according to study, only 10% of Muslim, they sponsor terrorism. I said, okay, so what is the number of Muslims today? He said like one, you know, point four. I said, okay, what is the 10 percent is? <laughs> then the donkey, he do not know what to say. I said, why you don't tell the number? What is the, what is the number? You just say 10 percent only of followers of this cult, they sponsor terrorism. Only 10 percent. Is that a hundred million terrorists? Is that a hundred and twenty million? Is that 140 million? What is the number? No, this was not a smart Muslim who said that to me. That was a smart atheist. Because atheists, they were in the bed with this cult for a long time. They joined this evil devil Muhammad, thinking if they do that, they can get rid of a Christianity. The stupid atheist, they sponsored Islam for many years. Long time. And until now, they opened their borders for them. They control France, they control England, they control Belgium, they control all of Europe. They don't have enough, they want more.
Now I decide today to show respect to Muhammad because obviously if you don't respect Muhammad you get killed. I mean it's a nice religion and they say to you Islam means peace which is false because Islam means surrender. So I decide to start respecting Prophet Muhammad from now on more than before, way more than before. There is many reasons to respect Muhammad. As an example, Muhammad is very clean. He takes shower with dead dogs and women of blood from period and garbage. In other way, Muhammad, he take a shower in the sewage. So you cannot say, I don't respect Muhammad, who do such an amazing thing. Can you find me other prophet he have the ability to jump in the sewage with dead dogs and wounded blood different period and the sewage is stinky and yet he is doing a pollution to get ready for Allah. Remember he is now getting a pollution. So now he is getting a clean. I mean obviously Allah is so clean to the point we can be clean to Allah or in front of Allah if we take shower and do a pollution with dead dogs and women of blood different period and a stinky garbage water. And when somebody asks Muhammad, you idiot, how in the world do you do such a thing? Muhammad, he answer, you idiot, water always is clean, nothing make it unclean. And here you see the stupidity of the filthy Muhammad. In one hand, he said to you that dogs are filthy and he ordered to kill all the dogs. And if a dog, he touch your uh, lick here, your dish, you have to wash it seven times, which is very weird. He stuck with numbers. Seven times you have to wash the dish. If a dog, he lick your dish. Not like, not your food, your dish. You have to wash the dish seven times. And then we find him jumping in the water, have dead dogs, dead dogs dead dogs I mean you have to be more filthy than the dead dog to jump in a shower imagine you have a bathtub or a jacuzzi and by the way the Muslim will say to you this was a big 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 uh, lake big lake you coward big lake you potato it was in the size of a jacuzzi to the point the person who measure it he measured it with his coat. And actually, we can show you the hadith about how he measured it. Here we go. All this where Muhammad is jumping in, it is six arm wide. And the height of the water is less than, you know, higher than your knee and less than your private part. So you can say it is a little jacuzzi. And inside this little jacuzzi, there's dead dogs and women of blood different period. And the water stink and garbage. So you cannot say, you cannot respect Prophet Muhammad. Obviously, he's a prophet. I mean, the sign of a prophecy is to be crazy and to jump in the sewage. That is number one requirement because that will make you super clean to meet Allah. Remember, Allah is the devil. In order to be clean for Allah, you have to be clean in the standard of Allah. And clean in the standard of Allah, obviously, is to jump with the blood of women the same as this filthy who slaughter the women and old women go into the church and what happened after that the stupid police they are taking him to hospital why you don't throw him in the street give him to the French people to deal with him you are taking this filthy criminal to the hospital
I would love to put my hand on him. Coward like Muhammad. Filthy animal like Muhammad. You know what? I respect you, the Prophet, to the point I cannot spit on him because I respect my spit more than your Prophet. If I spit at your Prophet, I have to take my spit back and wash it. So this is Muhammad, the one they are defending, is a filthy man, even in normal filth, cleaning. Actually, even their book says that Muhammad was full of lies. This is how clean he was. Now, you cannot forget that Muhammad need to be respected for other reasons. Here we have a story of a woman, she was insulting the filthy prophet. And by the way, this filthy prophet, he prophesied a lot of things, they come to be true. A lot of things he prophesied. As an example, he is the one who discovered that uh, the falling stars is Allah shooting the shaitan in his ass. Because shaitan, he tried to spy at Allah. Muhammad is a genius. He discovered that women have a sperm coming from their ribs. And man have a sperm coming from the backbone. So you have to respect him for that too. And Muhammad is the one who discovered, according to the hadith, and we can show it, that women have half a brain. But we just saw a woman in the Supreme Court of USA. She beat, beat all the judges. Nobody can be smarter than her. She's smarter than a hundred men. But Muhammad, he discovered, this filthy Muhammad, he discovered that women have half a brain. In the front of us here, we have a story of a woman she was insulting Muhammad. She knew he's a fraud. She knew he's a scumbag. She knew he's a child molester. So she was speaking against him. So the owner of the slave who used to rape her, as always they do, and he had even kids from her, because she insulted Muhammad, he took his dagger and he inserted it in her belly. As you see in the story here. One night she began to slander the Prophet and abuse him. Uh -huh. Look at the crime, bigger crime. Insulting the Prophet, slandering the Prophet. So he took a dagger and placed it in her belly and he pressed it and he killed her. A child who came between her legs was smeared with the blood. That is the filthy Muhammad. So you want to open more mosques for them? You want to go in TV and bring me George Bush and Obama saying Islam is peace? You want to say to me ISIS does not present Islam? This is Muhammad. For how long we will keep lying? Running away from the truth and saying Islam is a peaceful religion. Islam is not a religion. Islam is a filth. Islam is a cult. Islam is a garbage. Islam is a scumbag. Islam is racist. Islam is not made for a human. And then they brought the man to Muhammad in second morning. Actually, nobody arrested him or anything. They told him he killed her slave. So in the morning, Muhammad, he said, the one who did that, come to me. He assembled the people and said, I adjure by Allah, the man who done an action, I adjure him by my, by my right on him. <laughs> he have right on them. He should stand up, jumping over the necks of the people, trembling. This is the blind man. He stood up. He sat before the prophet, the filthy prophet. And he said, Oh Allah, Messenger of Allah, I am her master. She used to abuse you and disparage you. I forbid her, but she did not stop. I rebuked her, but she did not abandon her habit. I have two sons from her because he was raping her. And she was my companion in the bed. Last night, 
she began to abuse you and spared you. So I took a dagger and put it in her belly and pressed it till I killed her. Thereupon, the ISIS prophet said, Oh, be witness. Oh, be witness. Her blood is for free. And they are saying to you that those terrorists, they don't present Islam. Every scumbag who goes in TV and keep lying to us, saying ISIS is not Islam, Al Qaeda is not Islam. Those terrorists, they don't present Islam. How many of how many times we heard this garbage? This is Muhammad. This is a story printed by Muslims, Ri written by Muslims, considered authentic by Muslims published by Muslims, taught to the children of Islam by Muslims. And yet you will get an idiot saying to you, Islam has nothing to do with this. So we will blame who? We will blame the terrorists or those who sponsor the terrorists. Atheists for the last 50 years, they are sponsoring terrorism. You brought them to Europe. You gave them papers, shelters. You did not check their qualification, their education, what they believe. Can they match with your society? Can they live in your society? Can we merge inside your society? What they want? You don't care. You just care for fighting Christianity. You say the F word to Jesus every day. In every single garbage movie you make. You curse Jesus in every movie, in purpose to insult Christianity, and we never attack you. Do you appreciate us now? Do you think we are coward? Do you think we don't have guns? Do you think we cannot kill? No, we can, but we don't do that. You are used to Christianity, this is why, you don't understand why Islam is doing that. You used to insult us, and we say, God forgive you. God bless you. And now you cannot accept, I mean, how this is happening. You stupid idiot, you did that yourself. And it is time to pay for the crime you did. And now you will lose your security. You will lose your economy. What you will do? They have one of two choices. Either you ban Islamic laws, every mosque, and deport those who believe in the belief like terrorism. Send them back where they are coming from. You have to make, you, you, you know, you remember before a Muslim, he says to me, do you, uh, do you accept the acquisition? <laughs> a Muslim is a question in the acquisition. They go to Spain. They kill the Spanish. They rape their women. They take their land for hundreds of years. And then when they take their land back and they clean their land from the dirt of Muhammad, they say to you, those are criminals. Muslim do an acquisition to you and your land. And they have no right. In Spain, they were cleaning their land. Anyone who betray, he joined the army of the enemy or support the enemy. They get rid of him. And actually, in America, we do that. You join Taliban, we arrest you. And you might even be executed. You join the enemy. The Muslims, they go to your country, and I'm talking about those who believe in Muhammad, not somebody whose name is Muhammad. Those who really truly believe in Muhammad is those who believe in this hadith. You see, all of them, they will say to you, Oh, we condemn the killing. We are against the killing. But, but do you believe in this or not? Muslims, do you believe in this or not? You are a prophet, he says, the one who insult me, her blood is for free. Do you agree with your prophet or not? They don't dare to say we don't agree. So what those speeches about we condemn the killing? 
This is the, the stupid propaganda for the fool. Behind the walls, all of them, they are praising the person who is doing the killing. And when I say all of them who, I'm talking about those who believe in this. What is in the front of us on the screen? Believe in what? Believe in Muhammad to be, he have the right to kill anyone who don't agree with him. And can you find me one Muslim who go to the mosque who don't agree with this? Which mosque is that? Which religion? But I can find you a hundred thousand atheists saying to you, Islam is not this. You idiot, this is Muhammad himself. Obviously, Muhammad is not a Muslim then. Because Islam is peace. Until now, we did not lose internet. It's a miracle. If we ever lose internet, just refresh your page. It will be back soon. In case. So they lie to you, they fool you, and they give you false information. And they say to you, for years and years and years, Islam is peace, Islam is not about terrorism. We Muslim, we follow Prophet Muhammad who taught us to, taught us to be terrorists. Terrorists? Here we go, this is Muhammad himself. This is Muhammad himself. We have a Muslim from Turkey, I can tell his name is Razwan. All those who they are Turkish or Shishanian, they call themselves funny names. They don't even know how to call themselves a name in Arabic. R R Razwan, have you ever heard of a name like this? I mean, you copy Muhammad, you follow Muhammad, you became a slave of the Arab, which is us, and then you, you call yourself a name, it's funny, Razwan. Since when in Arabic there's a name is called Razwan? Eh, he's a Turkish. Aman, Rabbi, Aman. You are lying. You are lying. Rizwan is saying to me, you see the scum back? Well, this is your prophet hadith, you idiot. What I'm lying about. You see, guys, we are showing them the reference from their own website. And then you get a, a person, his name is Razwan, who just finished muta, like he's a prophet, who his wife is six years old, like he's a prophet, Telling us you are lame. It's in the front of you. You are lame. This is your website. It's you are lame. But you are lame. But you are lame. But do you know why they are saying you are lying? Because they are ashamed of their faith, their prophet. Otherwise, they would say, yeah, this is true. We are proud of him. But because they are ashamed of him, they try to cover up. You're lying. You killed an old woman. I will make Muhammad pay. I will make Muhammad pay. I promise you that the blood of those Christians you are slaughtering every day will not go for nothing. We are going to spank your faith, the prophet, as never before. Actually, I'm thinking to make a book called The Faithy Muhammad. Or who can be more faithy than Muhammad? You inspire me with the name. I will find the best name, just wait. You think you can intimidate us, you cowards, by killing women in a church? You think people will respect your prophet, you filthy coward? Everybody is spitting at your prophet now. In France, in Europe, in China, everybody notice. You know, they say to you that Chinese, they put one million Muslim in jail. How we knew that those are not terrorists? When I went to China last time, I asked a person why they have those columns. They were not there. 
He says, because we have many terrorist attacks driving with their cars over people who are waiting outside. And guess what? Religion is the religion of the terrorist attack in China, in the front of the forbidden city. Are they Buddhas? No. Hindus? No. Atheists? Communist? No. Christians? No. It is the followers of the peaceful religion. It's called Islam. And then you will see that everybody is trying to fight China. He used that card against China. China is a racing terrorist. Otherwise, they should put all the Muslims in jail. Why only some? Did you ask yourself the question? Why some in jail, not all of them, if they don't want the Muslims? So you are lying about China. You are lying about China just for a political agenda. We have to respect the faith in Muhammad. Please from now on respect the faith in Muhammad. I have respect to a mosquito who suck blood of people and bring diseases more than your faith, your prophet. Another reason to respect Muhammad, he's racist. He's a filthy racist. For sure, I am being sarcastic. I don't respect somebody he is. A filthy racist. Look what the filthy Muhammad he said about our beloved black people. Black people are wonderful people. Actually, the best of the Christians I notice is the black people. When they pray, they pray from their heart. When they go mission, they go from their heart. When they worship, all of them, they are jumping from happiness, worshiping the Lord. Wonderful people. How Muhammad, he saw the black people, this filthy creature, Muhammad. He said, he said, who? The filthy Muhammad. Allah, messenger, between two brackets, peace be upon him. A lot of peace upon him. Said, Allah created Adam when he created him, and he struck his right shoulder, and there emitted from it white of spring, as if the wear white ants. This is a new scientific discovery. White people, if you are a white person, you are coming in from the right shoulder of Adam. I'm so glad he did not say from the right bowl of Adam. Looked like Muhammad, he knew where was the ball of Adam? It was in his shoulder. Mm -hmm. And then, maybe you do not notice why Muhammad, he said the right shoulder. In religion, the word right mean about being right. And the word left is about being wrong. So Muhammad is saying here from the first statement right away that the white people are born from the right place. And this is why later we will see they are right, according to Muhammad. So they are born from the right shoulder of Adam and they are white. And then he struck his left shoulder, which means shoulder of Adam, and from there were emitted from it black of spring. From where? From the left shoulder, which is supposedly the shoulder of sin. As if they were charcoal. And then he said to those who've been emitted from the right shoulder, you go to paradise, which means the white. The white, you go to paradise. Are you white? You're going to paradise right away. Are you white? If you are, according to the faith in Muhammad, you are going to paradise immediately. Go to paradise and I don't mind. And to those who they are emitted from the left shoulder, which means the black people, he said, they are for hell and I don't mind. And then they will say to you, Islam is against racism. Muhammad the slave owner, Muhammad the slave rapist, Muhammad the fascist, Muhammad the Nazi, Muhammad the KKK. Yet they say to you, Muhammad is against racism. 
And then they come to a black person and they try to fool him, make him believe that Muhammad is against the slavery. And they say to him, do you know what the white man did to you? You idiot. Don't you know that all the slaves sold to America were captured by Muslims in North Africa? The Moroccan, the Algerian, the Libyan, the white Muslims in North Africa. They are number one business of slavery in the world. And actually, as we speak right now, there's tons of thousands of slaves in Libya. In case you do not know, there's a country, it's called Mauritania. It's an Islamic country. More than 70% of population are slaves. I never been there. I never checked the numbers. That's what they say. Check it out. Maybe the number is less. Maybe the number is more. But this is what it is. And if Muhammad he himself, he is filthy, obsessed person with white color, what do you expect? Actually, Muhammad, he promised Muslims that when they go to heaven, they will have women who you can see through the marrow of their bones. Somebody saying you are from North Africa. How you know where I am from, you idiot? Oh boy. No, and North Africa are considered as white. And you are stupid again. All the Mediterranean are considered white. Go educate yourself. Don't be a certified donkey. Now, let us see what Muhammad, he promised Muslim men. What this guy who went to the church and he slaughtered the women, what he want? He want women who we can see the marrow of their bones. They are so white to the point we can see the bones, the marrow of the bones, actually. Do you see it? Muhammad is trying to seduce his filthy terrorists, saying to them, oh, you know what? If you believe in me and kill for me and rape for me and torture for me, I will give you this. It's time for you to go, Tarnada Tatula. We have no time for stupidity. You keep repeating yourself. You are like a person who has diarrhea. You remind me of Muhammad when he suffered from diarrhea. Oh, actually, you remind me more of uh, Ahmad Mirza Ghulam who died because of diarrhea. I mean, you have to repeat. If I am white or from North Africa, is that the topic now, you donkey? So is it, I am the topic now. This is how shallow you are. Don't get married. Your wife, she will leave you second day. I assume that your wife, she will send you to do shopping. And then you come back home and you bought nothing. And she will ask you why you did buy nothing. You will say to her, uh, Christian Prince is from North Africa. She was, what? What? You did not do the shopping because what? People like you, my friend, the Chinese, they called him. He left as a donkey. He never came back as a horse. Now, look at this. Muhammad promising Muslim men, because he's racist, a certain kind of what is considered supposedly beauty, super beauty. This is the women created by Allah for boom, boom. Allah created the boom, boom reward. How those women, they look like. I will try to help you so you can respect the Prophet Muhammad more. Remember, our topic today is about respect. Actually, this will be our topic every day. Hmm? Every day we are going to respect Muhammad, especially after the killing they are doing. I have to respect Muhammad more. I cannot resist. Muslims are inspiring us to respect Muhammad and we are afraid now so this is what Muhammad he promised the Muslims can you find me more stupid person than Muhammad to listen to who in the world want to believe in such a garbage that in heaven you go to there and then you will find the woman you can see the marrow of her bones and supposedly that will make you horny 
How many of you are getting excited? This is the version Prophet Muhammad he promised me in heaven. I cannot wait. I'm going to join terrorist group immediately so I can get this. You got to respect Muhammad, the racist, the filthy, who considered white people will go to heaven, black people will go to hell. And he was so racist because he knew what the Arab want. The Arab are racist in general. And they love white women. He did not promise them a black woman in heaven. Actually, in heaven of Islam, not a single black man will be there. And I can show you that from the Quran. In fact, Muhammad, he claimed that before you go to heaven, Allah will give you two drink. One will make you change the, your size and will take all the, the, the garbage inside you, supposedly, and the other one will make you white. Very white. Any Muslim want to say to me, you are lying? I can show you. Shall I show you? I mean, we can show because we got to respect Prophet Muhammad. Huh? Let us do that. You know, why not? <clears throat> Actually, we can go just to show you, you know, we don't say things. We don't say things. We don't make up things. This is what they believe. This is the garbage of Islam. We are not making it up. If we go in the Quran, chapter 27, I'm opening the book of Ibn Kathir. There is scholar. I mean, he is their scholar. You know what you can say. This is what they teach their kids in the school, brother. So this is Ibn Kathir. And here it says, I don't know if you will be able to read the text size, that Allah in the judgment day, he will send a beast. And this beast, brother, is going to have the stick of Moses and the ring of Solomon, and is going to hit the one who is a kafir in his face and will make me black. Am I saying that? Or this is what it is? Actually, I see some adjustment here. They change it. Hold on. They took it from the page, I think. Hold on. What happened? We show you this many times. Hold on. Yeah, they took some of it, but it's okay. What is left over is enough to, to make Muhammad left over too. It says here, uh, it will bring with it its staff, the staff of Moses, and the ring of Suleiman, and there will be no believer left without making a white spot in his face, which will spread until his face is shining white as a result. And there will be no disbeliever left without making a black spot in his face, which will spread until his face is black as a result. Mm -hmm. So nobody will enter heaven of Islam unless he is white. Do you see it? Do you see it? All non-Muslims, Allah will make them black. And all Muslims, Allah will make them white. And if you say to me, well, this is not the belief of Islam. This is the belief of uh, a scholar. You are a liar. This is coming from Muhammad. And we just showed you the hadith where Muhammad said that white people go to heaven and black people go to hell according to his filthy belief. You see it? This is your Muslim website.
I don't want to stay long because I have long list. I did not cover only I cover two or three of them. But if I cover the rest, that will make the video really long. So what we will leave for later to spank Muhammad with? I promise you, terrorist. I promise you, true believer in Allah. I will spank your prophet as never before. Right now, I have four books about your prophet. I will make it 40. And guess how many they are now encouraged to expose the cult of Muhammad. You think you can stop us by killing innocent people? You think you are going to scare us? You have no idea. We are the Christians. We used to be used as food for cats, lions, tigers, and we never left the faith. Even your stupid Quran spoke about us. That a king, he was bringing Christians to burn them alive. Alive! And they never left the faith. Or maybe you don't believe in your book anymore. Actually, your action will make us a better believer. And your action will make us fight Muhammad more. And this is your Quran speaking about us that people tried to burn us alive in chapter 85. And yet we did not deny the Messiah our Lord. We will defeat the filthy Muhammad and his evil for a very simple reason is evil evil will never success and actually if you look at Islamic countries you will find nobody is fighting them except themselves Islam destroying itself who is the enemy of Turkey is it really Greek the Greek no Saudi Arabia Emirat Bahrain Egypt who is going to fight a war in Libya is it the Greece and Turkey? No, Egypt and Turkey. Who is the one killing Muslims and putting bombs in the mosque in Afghanistan and Pakistan? Muslims. Muslims. That because Islam is a religion of self-destruction. So we are victorious for many reasons, but number one reason is following the Lord, the Messiah. Number two, you are following the devil. Those who you kill today they are in heaven and your prophet in hell and you will follow him you thought you will scare us and we will stop exposing your faith a prophet hmm. we are totally scared we are totally terrified you are mistaken. Actually, I just heard the news that people, they start posting cartoon in Paris everywhere and they are doing volunteer work. Like nobody, nobody's asking them. People going home, printing images of your faith, your prophet, and posting it everywhere. And actually, you terrorist, you are saving Europe because Europe was going deep in the sand. They did not notice how filthy this cult is. But you give them the good alarm. If they are smart, they will deal with the terrorism of Muhammad. They will start closing mosques, banning the Quran, ripping pages of the Quran, anything teach hate, which means 80 90% of the Quran will go. What is going to be left? The story of Solomon and his flying donkey and flying carpet. I'm not going to keep you for long so you can download the video as soon as possible I'm so glad we did not lose internet today I want to say thank you guys for being here and as you can respect Muhammad please 
post his images everywhere in Facebook everywhere show those cowards that we will not be intimidated we will not because the whole purpose of this is making you scared and you don't teach your children how filthy Muhammad is that's the whole idea are you going to do that no actually we will do more and more so the whole world can see that Muhammad is nothing but a scumbag a racist a fascist Nazi Hitler is way better than him actually Muhammad even he taught his followers that Muslims are the highest rank and the rest are animals there's a video on YouTube if you remember where a Muslim who live in England who was coming as a refugee he is driving Mercedes Benz but you are an English citizen you cannot have that car and he was saying what is the benefit of those kuffar they are like those cows he was standing to not next to a bunch of cows and he said the Christian in England they are less than the cows where he got this from that from the Quran the book of hate the book of filth and the Quran says it clearly that Allah have a mission to spread hatred between the Christians and if he target the Christians who supposedly according to Islam they worship him so what about the atheist what he want from them he want to eat them alive in the Quran in chapter 4 chapter 5 verse 14 the filthy Muhammad in his book which he claimed that he received from the filthy devil Allah he said those who say they are Christians we are going to string them with hatred and enmity until the day of judgment this is the filthy teaching of Muhammad and then they will say to you Islam teach love their God saying he will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the day of judgment this is why I say to you Christians those who divide the Christians between Catholic and Protestant and Orthodox you are serving the devil Muhammad those who divide the churches those who say stupid things to divide us willingly or not willingly knowingly or not knowingly you are serving the plan of the devil Muhammad He will spread hatred between you. So the response to Islam is we should spread, you know, spread love between us. If you see a person, he is a Catholic, never say to him, stupid thing, you are not Christian. Same for to you, Catholic, never say to a Protestant, you are not. Same for you, Orthodox, stop being stupid, be united. We worship the Lord, the Messiah, and he is our Savior all. The Lord, he said, whoever believe in me and I will live. He never said the Protestant or Catholic or, or Orthodox, those names you came with. There's one Christ. There's one Lord. And whoever believes in him, he will live. Whoever. Only foolish who serve the devil, they divide us. fight foolishness support wisdom be united unity is a strength otherwise divide and conquer don't be the same as the muhammadan their kingdom is divided against itself for it is the kingdom of the devil in the name of christ i love you all in the name of christ i pray for those soul to be in heaven today as we speak those who lost their life today in the church in the church and because they were in the church I am sure they are in heaven they are good decent people who believe in the Lord who pray for everybody including the Muslims for peace those people you killed in the church they pray for you you coward they pray for your health
We pray that the Lord will give us more strength to fight the devil of Muhammad, Allah, and his puppy Muhammad. We pray that we will be people who they are proud because we know what we believe, not because we are foolish like the Muslims who are proud about nothing, about a child molester, about sex offender, about a criminal. This is what they are proud about. Everything will make a person come back is exist in Muhammad. And I challenge anyone to say to me I'm wrong. From going after children to sleep with them, from taking the wife of his son to sleep with her, from kidnapping women from their husbands and raving them, from torturing men and people to take their money. Tell me where you had your money. From going to the house of his own son, flirting with the wife when she is married. From speaking against the black people, claiming that only white people go to heaven. One of the statements Muslims they say to you, that do you know that Muhammad he promised Bilal to go to heaven? <laughs> he promised Bilal to go to heaven? First of all, why he had Bilal as a slave? So in heaven, Bilal, in heaven, you will go to heaven, Bilal, you will go to heaven, but he never free him. Hey, Bilal, okay, I will go to heaven, what about now? Oh, for now you are my slave. We have a Muslim here, his name is Abdul Malik, saying, please spread hate, spread love, not hate. Abdul Malik, you are a scam back like your prophet. Because you coward as long you believe in spreading hate. So why you believe in the Quran then? Who is the one spreading hate, Abdul Malik? Just to show you how those Muhammadan they speak and when they speak they do poo poo. They do what? They do poo poo. Abdul Malik, you just insulted Allah. Because you said we should spread love, not hatred. I'm not spreading hatred, you coward. I'm reading your Quran. Abdul Malik, Christian Prince, please spread love, not hate. Uh, that means I have to read the gospel now. Where Jesus, he said, love your enemy. But the second we switch to your filthy Quran, we see this. From those who call themselves a Christian, we do the covenant, but they forgot a good part of the message. Uh, that was sent to them. So we string them with enmity and hatred between one and the other. Are you there, the slave of Satan, Abdul Malik? Are you there? Is that your book? Hey, you want to cry? Spread, don't spread the hate. The second you start reading their book, they accuse you of the hate. Do you notice? If I read the gospel from now until tomorrow, nobody can accuse me of hate. The second I read the words of the filthy Allah and the filthy Muhammad, they accuse you of hatred. Stop editing the Quran. I'm editing the Quran. <laughs> Do you think my name is Uthman? Ibn Affan, the one who burned the Quran because he did editing? Hmm. Anyway, it's time to go. Don't forget to download the video. We will not keep it there for long. You know, those, you know, let us let us work together. Let us expose the devil. If you speak other languages, please translate my videos. My books are translated to many languages. Soon we will have my book even in Chinese. A glory to the Lord. Chinese. More than a billion they will read about the filthy pig Muhammad. Actually, it's an insult to pigs to call Muhammad a pig. Pigs are useful, Muhammad is not. We make answering from pigs. Millions of people who have diabetes, they will die if there's no pigs. Every single surgery is done to any human being. They use the tissue is made from pig. Pigs are very useful a human. Did I say human? Yes, because Allah, he says, pigs are a human. Those are the Christians and the Jews. If you don't believe me, I can share the Quran. 
<laughs> you might think that how he said a human how in the world he said a human yes brother it's Muslim they believe that those pigs are human but Allah he made them pigs he cursed them because you know like as an example the brother the Jews they did uh, fishing in Saturday huh? and uh, you know and then we said to them be pigs or monkeys mm. true story and now if you make a cartoon of Muhammad saying that's a statement you know uh, Muslim they will say to you you are insulting our Prophet calling us pigs is not an insult and you know the funny thing is that Muhammad he said that Allah he cursed the Jews and the Christians because they broke Allah command so he made them into pigs and monkeys here it says apes in Arabic it says clearly monkey the word monkey not apes and swine hmm Allah will make you a pig and a monkey for fishing in Saturday but Allah will not make the person who attack the church a pig and a monkey for fishing in Saturday there is a Muslim from uh, Israel these are you know they call they call themselves Palestinian but they are not Palestinian but anyway he have a video and he explained to you brother sister Allah if you look at the pigs they have a, uh, some crazy habit and he's trying to prove to you that pigs are Jews how he says to you the only one who do have sex with his mother is pigs <laughs> Anyway, this is a different story. I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless the soul of those who lost their life today. This family, they are crying as we speak, as we laugh now. We are laughing at the faith in Muhammad, but at the same time, we are sad for those people, even though they are going to heaven, guaranteed. We don't want to see bloodshed. We don't want people to get killed. We don't even Muslims to get hurt. But this is the cult of Muhammad. It's a garbage in, garbage out. And because he's garbage, and he came with garbage, we are going to send him to the recycle machine, expose him, bend him, melt him, and make something better out of him. Maybe a shoe. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. Thank you for being here. And don't forget to download the video as soon as it is ready because I don't keep my videos in my channel, as you know. Take care.